like the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there be no wars Joy to the ones who lost their hope. If the wind could spread your love, what if your sweetness could reach everyone? There be no wars.
There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day Yo. to wash away the pain. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. Washed out by the rain. <laughs> Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this. If you try to get some. We have to st ah, there's only one way to start stream today. And that is with a little moment for my baby Fern. I just got home. <laughs> and look at these little baby, baby Fern bits. This one, that's, that's new. Here's a new one. See that little baby one? That's a baby. That means it's happy. Worky lurky oh. while almost all of the office is empty so ya no heart. Thank you, Nirvana. Look at that one on my thumb. I'm so happy. I wonder how big it's gonna be. Do you think it's gonna grow up? Such a cool little plant. <laughs> got little hairs. I've never had a fern, but I've always thought they were super cool. They grow wild around here and hurts to kill as well, which is good for you. That's not what, that's not what I've read. I read that ferns are, I don't know. Did I read it wrong? I thought they were hard to keep. I guess that's, that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Less of a chance that it will die, but, you know. In the tropics, they have a much better chance at surviving, easy. But I guess I was just scared because, um, because of the, because of the, um, What's the word? Dehumidifier thing machine here behind me. Which takes out, which ta uh, which removes a lot of the humidity in, in my house. Cause otherwise I have like mad mold issues if I don't get rid of the humid air. Which is bad for the fern because the fern's like, the more humidity, the better I'm gonna thrive and all the humidity. Maybe not. Thank you, Aneki. Happy nine months. 
Really? Careful with the quickies. I came in here for a quickie nine months ago and here we are. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I have to leave. I have to leave at 4.30 today. Because I have to go pick up uh, Frida from the... From dog school. And then I have to go to the studio. To record some stuff. So, that's my day today. Still have a lot to do. The irony is the plants also increase the humidity indoors. I know. I know. I know. But what to do? What to do? Life is one. Life is one big irony. I don't. I don't want to not have any plants just because it's humid inside here. I'd rather find a way around it. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Nirvan. Thank you. And Nikki. And hello, everybody. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hello, Lufia. OG Ross. Titan. Complicated. Their tool. Ryan. Martin. Good. God. Hello, copper. Ferns are almost as common as grass where you live. Really? We don't. I don't. Do we have any ferns in Hungary on their own? In the wild? I actually don't know. Hey, the studio session. Yeah. Um, well, not really a studio session. I'm just recording uh, some loops. So yeah, probably not today though. Uh, I think today the plan is just to go there and set up. Because the last two occasions that when we were in the studio, I set my, I set my setup, I set up my setup. And then oh, it, it always takes a while to set up just because of all the cables and blah, just, uh, the logistics of of everything you know getting the lighting right but so it takes quite a while even if we if, we, if we've already done it twice i know it's gonna take like two hours no maybe not two hours but quite a while to set up and yeah i want to be fresh when i'm recording so we're gonna set up tonight and then and then we're gonna go in tomorrow and you know just ready to rock and roll so his nails look crazy in the most positive way. What are they? Oh! Oh yeah! I got my nails done, finally. Uh, I got some fancy nails that caught my eye. Yeah, but I, sh I showed you guys on, on Wednesday already. Maybe some of you weren't here. They're um, like kind of bronzy on black. Yeah. Thank you though. Is there a dog university? Will P Frida get a PhD? <laughs> Who knows? I think there's a privacy. There's a privacy a class. Maybe they can't know what they're learning. It's 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 between them and their tutors. Maybe they're learning about world domination. I took her to school on Wednesday and I took her there today. She st she still doesn't want to be there. <laughs> it did not get easier from Wednesday to Friday to leave her at dog school. She, not dog school, it's kind of like daycare. They don't really do much. Um, there's no lessons or training for the dogs so it's not really dog school in that sense it's just taking care of them so they they don't they're not alone at home so yeah she's there and she was very upset that i left her but i guess she'll be all the all the more happy 
when I pick her up. It was so sweet. She like when when we were heading there, we were like, she knew where we were going, of course. And so the closer we got, the more she started kind of sideways jumping on me. She would just like ding ding ding, ding <laughs> like jump on my jump on my like on on my on my shoulder in my arms, and. Um, and I had to, I had to stop a couple times and like calm her down because she just wanted to, she just wanted to cuddle. It was so, oh, it was so sad. But still, it's better than her like being stuck at home. Um, uh, and yes, Nirvan, new loops for YouTube. New loops are coming. Uh, the first one will be out next week, next Thursday. And I don't know. It depends. It depends on how 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 good I am. I don't know at at recording. Uh, but I I hope I hope I get to record a couple. Hopefully I'll be I'll get it right the first couple times and then I can record a bunch. Hey Vader. Hey OBS. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you so much for the 26 months. So y'all know hypers. Thank you so much. Did you guys notice? I also, I also have lights again. LEDs back. Mm. My dehumidifier. Turn the wrong way. Yeah, this habit, this habit, this habit. I think that's that's how it should be. So yeah, and I got I got another LED strip, but I I didn't have enough time to set it up before stream. And I I have to cut it because I, I bought a shorter one, but it it was still. It was still too. It was still too long of a strip for for where I want to have it, which is around the picture. I want to have a little backlight, like a, a little backlight behind behind the painting. And so I didn't have time to cut it off, and uh, and so I just kind of put it up there. I turned it on, and it was so much light that. That I decided to turn it back off. Check this. <laughs> this is what it looks like without cutting it off. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna look good if there's no light on here and no light below. Like, kind of the way it is here just on the very back. I think it's gonna look good. But, yeah, I sat back here, get, getting ready to stream, and I was like, Ugh, this is chaotic. <laughs> Too much. So yeah. Wait. So, for now, I'm just gonna keep it turned off. So, 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 so big Xbox you got there. Does it look like one? It would be a very big one. Does she interact with the other dogs? Uh, Frida, she, she does. She does. Depending on what her mood is. Um, sometimes she's more social, sometimes not so much. Sometimes she's outright antisocial and doesn't want to doesn't want to make any interactions. She's quite anxious around like people a lot of the time. But then again, the ones the people that she she sees more often, she adores and is very excited to see. Um, so it's 
you know, we're still making progress and yeah, working, working with her to make her feel comfortable in her surroundings. She probably feels as if, I mean, you know, sh um, dogs, especially shelter dogs, who knows, you know, what they, what they've gone through, but a lot of the time they have separational anxiety. Yeah. And Frida definitely has a lot of it. Um, so it is also why she's super, super clingy. Um, and it's why she gets nervous on the street. But yeah, she's already come a long way. So, you know, I can see, I can see the progress is, uh, is definitely working and it's good to, good to have her around, around other dogs. Like when I took her on the hike, um, she loved it and she, I think she felt super comfortable as well. So, so that was good. Yeah. She just needs time. I think if we give her a few more months, she's going to be, she's going to be a, a lot more, a lot more, mm, a lot more co confident. You got your dog from a mall pet store and he's super clingy. Yeah. Well. <coughs> yeah, so is so is Frida. But it's it's um it is adorable. Um I will say. When she's just like in the full cuddly mode. Mm. Frida gets even better with time. Of course, of course, of course she will. Um, hey, Momen. This referring specifically to going to daycare. You may feel like the shelter where you got her. Um, I see what you're saying, um, but they take really good care of her there. Um, the people there are super nice. Uh, and even if she does feel like that at first, you know, it's like kindergarten for a child. You know, in the beginning, it's very difficult. Adaptation, the, the transitional period is difficult because children also feel like their parents are leaving them behind, but then slowly they get more comfortable and realize that it's just a, it's a similar routine as, as anything else. And if there are good memories and she learns that we always come back, then it becomes less of an issue and more positivity is paired with it um since she's not lonely in a house and you know needs her bladder like you know because because we can't take care of her you know every once in a while when my mom is working so um it's better i think to have her socialized because it's also part of the progress um the psychology the dog psychologist in the beginning said we can't take her to the daycare for like the first first few months because of that same the, the, because of that same issue that psychologist said like first of all home is the most important for it for her to feel that she has a steady environment that does that it's not that is not changing so she has to adapt to her new family first before there's too much going on uh, so for that reason the first few months the psychologist said like no 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 like wait and let her let her get to know you guys first so that's what we did and then and then yeah um you know it hasn't been too many occasions my mom doesn't take her there very often like maybe once a week or every two weeks um since she's home a lot anyway so she doesn't need to she doesn't need to take her very often um which is also why the training is a shorter progress since she's not there every day it's only every once in a while so yeah, we're still she's still getting used to it, but she's going to learn sooner or later that that we always come back. So yeah, you just have to be patient. In what country can you still buy dogs in a pet store? Um, I don't know the statistics, but I guess m most countries. It's sad, but um, yeah, it's still it's still definitely 
very popular, I think. Or breeders, or like, uh, you know, um, other places. So, yeah. But I, I like these days, uh, I don't know, the last few, year, few years, most people that I've talked to, uh, like, I don't know when, the, I don't know when I last talked to anybody that bought a dog, which is really reassuring. Basically, everyone I talked to either, you know, got their pets from a shelter, or if they do, then that's what they plan to do, or, or maybe if, if, if someone has a litter, then from there, but, but I guess it's, it's good that overall, I think, yeah, more people are considering adopting, which is nice. How long have I had Frida for? My mom uh, has uh, had her since uh, November. I usually adopt, but my girlfriend at the time made me feel bad for the puppies staring in the window. Yeah, it happens. I mean, yeah. We've gotten a, a ton, a ton of pets from from the pet shop as well. So, can't say we've never done that. Not a dog, but you know, we've had we've had a rabbit, um, a lot of hamsters. Our rabbit had a ton of babies, <laughs> so we've had quite a few, a lot, not quite a few, a lot of rabbit babies. Uh, like at a time, I remember we had like five or six. Uh, rabbits and they were so cute oh my god uh, and a ton of fish that I don't think I would have anymore like all these little creatures that I feel so bad for now that I'm older I'm like no it's not worth it they're super cute but they don't belong with me so yeah but when I was a kid I, did, I, I loved I loved having a, a you know like little creature friends so animals, had birds. Oh. So half a year, yeah, a little bit more than half a year. Or November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, six months. Maybe it's just as bad, but breeders in my country seems a bit a, a bit more controlled. Oh really? No problem with abandoned or shelter dogs. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know. Malaysia was really bad. Malaysia, Malaysia was really bad with uh, with shelters. Maybe Hungary, not so much, but still, still, ah, still way more than necessary. Michael, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Friday. They definitely multiply. <laughs> oh yeah, rapid. We had our rabbit for s six years. Seven? Five? Six? I'll have to ask my mom. I forgot. I think I was like... I don't even know how old. But we had a rabbit for so, so, so many years. And uh, she basically grew up with me. Cause I was I was very I was very little when I got her and she was a, she was a big girl, she was a big girl and and I was you know I was just a a child as well so I kind of so I, I treated her with respect but definitely like a little baby and so the rabbit sooner or later just got used to being treated like a baby and she kind of started to like it and so she was most comfortable when she was on her back. So I would just like put her on her back, lie down and just like cuddle her. And I'm sure at first she, she thought it was strange, but then, then the rabbit, you know, if you, let, if you left her, she would just stay there and just kind of roll to the side, like chilling on her back. And since she was a, she was a big bunny, she would kind of just spread out. And it was so cute. The way she would kind of like kick her feet back when she was on her belly and you know, we, we, yeah, my mom also loved her and, yeah, she spent a lot of time with us. Um, chunky rabbit, that's right. 
domestic rabbits can live for like 10 years, right? Mm, they can. They can. Uh, it's not... Uh, I don't think it's the average... I don't think it's the average age, but... But I guess depends on how... Yeah. On... Depends on like food. Depends on the lifestyle, the breeds. Um, I don't know what the, the oldest rabbit that I've known in my circle of friends. I don't, I don't know if I know anyone who, who had a rabbit for like 10 years. That's crazy. That's a, even, even six, seven years is a, a great, uh, a great lifespan for a rabbit. Uh, it depends on the breed, how long they live, especially the bigger breeds don't live as long. Um, yeah. I mean, I think our rabbit would have lived longer, but we, <clears throat> we had like a mini, mini backyard. Um, like really, really mini when we got our own house. Um, it wasn't, I don't think it's even considered a yard, but a little small, uh, small, small amount of, sm small little yard. Let's just call it a yard. And so she would always dig a hole for herself and lie in it. And, and basically she got, uh, like, I, I don't know what it was called, an infestation? Which is like a really, really tough way to go for a rabbit. Uh, it's, I should, my parents didn't tell me for, for years because, uh, yeah, they didn't want me to, like, I guess, know the gory details of when, you know, these, these, uh, pests, like, eat them from the inside. Oh, it's, it's really, it's really not fun. So that's how, that's how she, that's how she left. But, yeah, I lived a happy life. Bunnies always dig at me with their back feet and bite. <laughs> yep, they do that. Um, neighbors can be a factor too with rabbits too. Incidents occurred during your, during your child. Oh, um, like they were poisoned or Or I'm trying to eat. Oh, sorry. But, yeah. <sighs> I'll get myself an African spur thighed tortoise there, chunky, and they can live for over. I don't know. Of the yard and over the fence leading to a body. Oh my god. Oh, oh. That's horrible. Ugh. You know what that makes me think? That makes me think of another gory story. Um, I don't know if we want to go down this, this territory gory animal deaths but oh my friend had a had a rabbit and he left to go for like a like a two-day holiday or something the rabbit was in its cage outside i'm not sure what happened because somehow I think maybe what happened was the cage was left open or I don't know how the how the rabbit itself got out of the cage or whatever but I think maybe a bird attacked it or a cat attacked it I I don't know it was a long time ago but basically he went home and and yeah the poor the poor rabbit's head was just like deheaded, yeah. 
Imagine going home and just like on, on a terrace. So it was, it was outdoors. It was like on a maybe first floor, second floor, and then there was a nice big terrace. And either a big bird or a, or a cat, or maybe you didn't even know, but yeah. Came home and basically his rabbit was deheaded in the on the terrace. What is the sadness I entered? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We we somehow went from uh, cute animal talk to deheaded bunnies. I yeah. <laughs> Bless Goku's chubwatch showing you some weeks ago. Uh, showing us. You mean introducing us to you, or what do you mean? My rabbits were so big that the neighborhood cats were afraid of the rabbits and stuff the other way around. That is sometimes the case. True, true. I'm weird. Hello. Hope you're doing well. The second well, he wasn't as chonky as his girlfriend across the street. Her, own, her owner was too rough for turning him. He didn't make it. Oh, no. That's really sad. That's really sad. My parents gave gave away my childhood dog, but they told me that it had been hit by a bus and I didn't find out till I was at No, that is so mean. Why do parents do that? I I I can't I can't understand how that how that is okay. Yeah, I'm sure you were quite, you know, attached to your dog. And even if, you know, parents think, oh, you know, too much hassle, or for whatever reason, like, at least be honest. That's really sad. I, 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 I feel bad for what you must have gone through. That sucks. I jump over the balcony a long time ago. That sucks. Everybody's growing up <clears throat> for about three years. When they had babies, the babies found a way out of the enclosure. They were scattered out. No! <laughs> you didn't see them when he mo Oh my god! He mowed at the bunnies! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is like fucking saw kind of st oh. That's so gory! <laughs> That's so, so sad. No, I mean, don't... Mm. No, we kind of... We kind of are. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe enough, enough sad, sad animal stories. Oh. Life can be so cruel. So, so cruel. Serious escalation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But well, hopefully there are many more. <laughs> I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say we should we should equal out equal out the energy and share some of share some some of our favorite animal memories. No. Um. Yeah, I, I, I have kind of a sad, I have a sad but bittersweet, uh, not memory, but if we're already on the topic of, of animals, I, 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 I had a, I pick, I had a dream with Pixie last night, and I'm always very honored when she comes to visit me, and yeah, it was kind of sad, but also really sweet. And so a couple of months ago, I, I wrote her a song um, that I'm not going to release until, until, I don't know, I either feel like it's ready, but also I was, I was planning to time it uh, for her birthday in September. Um, but yeah, so I wrote a song uh, for Pixie. Uh, a few weeks or like maybe like a month or two months after she passed 
And yesterday when I, well this morning when I had a dream, she came to visit me and I sang her her song. Can you believe it? I didn't have a guitar. I didn't have a guitar, uh, but I have the demo on my phone. <laughs> See, I'll get it. I have the demo on my phone. And so I just played it as she was chilling on a, on a blanket. And I sang along to the song and she, and she listened and, and she was like staring at me with her like big eyes. And I don't know, I just thought that was so, I just thought that was so special that I got to share it, share her, share, I don't know, share that moment with her. Uh, it felt really vivid and everything, so. Uh, I don't know. It it it, it was a it was a, it was it was super sad in the morning, but now that I think about it, and now that you're like, oh, share something sweet, like that's a happy moment. I'm gonna keep that as a very happy moment. So that's my that's my addition to uh, the group conversation of happy stories. Um, yeah, I gave Frida a shower yesterday, a bath. Um, and she, it was the first time I, t I gave her a bath, uh, since she's been with us and she got, she got like the mad, mad zoomies that some, some, some dogs get after a bath. And, you know, it just got me thinking like, well, this is exactly what Pixie would do. She would, you know, pre pretty much escape from, from the bathroom and just um, just crazy zoomies, and you know that moment when you when you get when you take your dog out of the bathtub and you're trying to, trying to <laughs> desperately do the best damage control that you can. Like I'll take a blanket and just like throw it on top of her, like try to try to get as much of the water off, but she'll escape somehow. <laughs> like, shake herself off and you know, water's going everywhere. You got the wet, wet dog stank. Um, and of course I was wet <laughs> from her, sh yeah, shaking off extravaganza. And you know, she ran straight into my bed, on top of my bed, she was like, <laughs> She, she was wiping herself in, 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 in my covers and everything. And I was like, yep, that is what Pixie would do. Took that after her. Um, so yeah. <sighs> oh, but uh, Kelly, hallotta, Gábor mesélte, hogy találkoztatok tegnap. És tökre örülött. <gül> nem volt egyedül. Úgyhogy remélem jó volt, a, jó volt a koncert. Mondta, hogy olyan jó volt, hogy nem voltam magányos. <gül> volt, volt egy pajti. <gül> My cat was once left with friends like 100 kilometers away from our home while we went on a trip. He ran away from them. It was sad. But oh, then a couple months later, he suddenly appeared in oh in the lobby of my apartment building, and it was definitely a hundred percent of him. He came all the way to get home. What if it, wait, I I have to read that again. Oh, we went on a trip. Oh, we went on a trip. He ran away from that. It was a, This is a true story. You went on a trip and and had your had your friend baby the cat sit your cat a hundred kilometers away from your house. Oh my god. How? How do animals do that? Oh my god. That's like... That's the coolest thing I've heard. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. 
that really is amazing. Because it's one thing, it's one thing when, when, when animals run away from home for whatever reason, they get lost or on a dog, on a, on a walk, on a walk nearby, and then somehow find their way back home. Because, you know, neighborhood is, neighborhood is familiar and all, but taking them away, you know, by car and then have, wow. I don't even, I don't, I can't imagine how they do it. Shit. Like what kind of six like animal six sense do you need do you, do you, do you need to have to to be able to find your way back home? As those vigra mayor webestes, niha, niha, My best pet memory is how many how one of our bunnies would lick my face like a puppy. <laughs> Only rabbit I know to do that. That's so cute. There's a there's an animal page that I follow on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know if you know it. It's um I I probably won't find it because it's got a it's got a weird name. I don't know what it's called. If I look at the whatever pages that I'm following, maybe. Most uh, Shanafi. But basically, I, I'm sure it's it, it's gone viral, or, or th this type of video has gone viral. But so this page takes uh, takes videos of rabbits when they're yawning, and syncs it with all sorts of human sounds, like uh, I, ah, you know how. How bunnies yawn, they look really funny with their little teeth and their and their tongues. And so and so there's all sorts of synchron synchronizations from shouting, laughing, uh, doing vocal warm-ups. There's like there's this one video and and they synchronized it with like Mariah Carey doing different vocal runs. <laughs> and I I d oh my god, I'm, I'll, d I'll do a video. I'll do a s screen video or whatever if I find it. But I don't know, I die every time. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe I sent one to someone. Probably not, but. Yeah, no. Ugh. They're so funny. Uh, what language do I do I think in? Um, mostly English, but sometimes in Hungarian. Um, it d it depends on the on the situation, because if I because if I'm having because uh, if it's if it's a circumstance in my head that is about like conversing with my mom or coming up with the coming up with the fantasy conversation with someone that I know that I usually speak in Hungarian with you know then the conversation in my head will be in Hungarian so it kind of depends on on the situation and the context so I won't I won't translate my thoughts into English just to think in English but the default mode is English if that makes sense um but yeah, this morning, cause I always, hey, hey Ben, what's up? But this morning when I had my dream and I woke up so and, uh, and recorded my, and recorded my, my, my dream. So this is what I've been doing for a while as I, like, if I have a dream, I, I don't want to forget it. And if it's a dream that I want to remember, then I'll start a voice recording and just you know, describe my dream. And so this morning, I, I woke up and I was crying and, and I started talking into my phone. And like, I start in English and I'm like, I'm like half asleep and I'm like midway, mid sentence. And, and I say out loud, I'm like, I don't even know what language to describe this in. And then I switched to Hungarian and then I continue. I started in English and then I was like, uh, English, uh, Hungarian. And then I just 
finished and finished uh, describing it in Hungarian because my that dream was in Hungarian because um, my mom was there and so I was talking with my mom in my dream and Pixie and so since together we've kind of over the years used Hungarian more with Pixie than uh, I talked to her in Hungarian in my dream as well and so I, I woke up and I'm already like a mess and I'm talking to my phone I start the dream in English and then I'm like uh, I don't even know what language to talk in right now <laughs> Uh, so sometimes it's not it doesn't it's not as uh, easy to decide and sometimes I'll start a la start a thought in one language and then switch <laughs> midway sometimes when I'm talking out loud I talk out loud a lot to myself sometimes I'll start in one language. it's very hunglish the more time I spend in Hungary obviously the more I think in Hungarian the more because obviously I'm surrounded by a lot of Hungarians but Twitch definitely keeps up the English, and I have quite a few international friends, so yeah, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, sometimes it's very, very bilingual, and you yeah, know, whatever. I've learned to accept it. Mimi, have you heard the Hungarian duo Bebe? No, but Bebe is what was one of the performers yesterday, right? Is Bebe the because Gabor briefly told me that there was someone that performed yesterday that got you into DJing? Or? Do I remember wrong? I guess I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm just saying, 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 Érdekes volt. Uh, as someone who learns learned two languages from an early age, it becomes easier to think in both languages. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It does help. I remember that sleepy song you showed us a while ago. <laughs> There's so many, so many hilarious dreams, uh, dream voice recordings on my phone. <laughs> it's hilarious. Cause it's, cause it's, it's difficult enough to try to uh, verbally explain your dreams. Cause sometimes they make such little sense, verb like s spoken out loud. Cause sometimes in your head in your dream, it was totally normal to like, I, I don't know, talk with a with a talking vegetable that has human feet and flies, but also has like I, I don't know uh, soup pouring out of his ears. I don't know, I just made something up. But, you know, um, sometimes you say that out loud and then you're like, what? Um, yeah. Mm. I feel partially responsible for your emotional night. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, I got to, I got to, I haven't dream, I haven't had a dream with Pixie in months. So if anything, I am grateful for our conversation yesterday. Be ben and I have had a conversation yesterday about, about the trees. Um, about the, the planted trees and, uh, and, uh, I, I, yeah. Also, I already had started to think about Pixie before that. So it was just like, hmm. You know, it's always nice to bring up, uh, you know, these moments and, yeah, feel them. Do you speak Spanish as well? Yes, I do. I, sp I speak Spanish to myself sometimes, and I feel like I'm in a, in a, in a, I don't know, telenovela. <laughs> it's very funny. I come up with, I come up with the random st uh, stories. I put myself in situations and then... I'm an actor, and I try to speak Spanish to myself. And I make it dramatic, too. Do you have a preferred language for puns? I'm horrible with puns. Not really. But maybe English. Wild, wild dreams. Yeah, dreams are awesome. Maybe I think the rabbit account you were- Ooh, Rinto? Oh, 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 shit. I'll check. I know it's a really random, random name. Yeah, it is. Okay, I have to show you. I have to show you some of them. 
in a sec. Uh, but Gelly said, so yesterday we witnessed with Gabor the culture shock of Bebe. I recommend shocking your followers, followers with it. Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm curious. We can have a look. But wait, um, probably can't though because of DMCA. Um, yeah, we can't. It's like feminist trap. You yeah, know, I looked it up, but then I realized we can't listen to, we can't listen to, to anything, any of it. Hungarian. Oh! <laughs> Let's see where this went wrong. Interesting show this must have been. <laughs> I was like, how? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it took two seconds for me to realize, but those two seconds <laughs> were very confusing. But I assume this is, uh, I assume this is who you were talking about? Or? <gasps> Wait, this, so this is not a Hungarian person? Wait, no, you said Hungarian duo. That's why I wrote, cause if, cause when I wrote, wait. <laughs> no, that's also. You know what? I I don't know. <laughs> you can take me Five hundred views. I can see the oh okay. That uh, does not seem to be. You know I. We, we maybe you can. <laughs> maybe you can uh, share with us on on uh, uh, on Discord. <laughs> it was also hard for me to find. But let's watch Yawning Bunnies. Maybe no DMCA. Yeah, link it on Discord. Yo, 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 yo. This is this is the page that I that I was talking about. Wait. So funny. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this maybe it's not funny for everyone, but I've seen the nom 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 so many times. You can put you can put it under any video of an animal and it just is so cute. There was a laughing one that I wanted to show you guys. Not that one. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the things people come up with, I swear. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done showing you guys videos of cute animals for today. <laughs> Um, I have a new phone. No, uh, well, I don't know when we when we last uh, looked at phones. Um, I don't know when I got this phone a while ago, but I changed the cover because the other one broke and it was ugly. Um, 
Yeah, I had like a s transparent, uh, transparent talk <laughs> before COVID. Um, yeah, let me thank you so much for your recent stream that I watched only yesterday. Loved your taboo EP storytelling. Oh, I'm glad you did. A lot of the stories I feel like I've told before already, but it still felt nice to... It still felt nice to... To give some space for... Yeah, for the whole collection and to, uh, like, retell some of the stories, relive them through the stories. Oh, speaking of storytelling, um, and yeah, celebrations uh so iodine's birthday is today iodine was is one years old today uh for those of you that don't know iodine is is a uh, is the uh, the the fifth song off of my debut album and uh yeah i released i released a music video exactly one year ago for that song so we could watch it if you guys want i i think i mentioned last stream that i that i started to do a bts a, a long time ago got to like just collecting some stuff but then when i mentioned yet last stream that i feel really bad for for leaving it hanging uh since i have hours and hours and hours of really good bts because i actually hired someone to follow us around and take uh, footage so that I can make a BTS and I was like damn you know this person put so much work and effort into taking proper footage and it's just sitting on my hard drive and uh, and so I spent I spent the day before yesterday and a bit of yesterday putting together uh, a BTS but I didn't finish uh, so I I it's not ready for Iodine's official birthday, but uh, I do want to keep working on it since I have so much. I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah, release something too short. I think I'm just gonna make it as long as it needs to be to include the stuff that I, I want to include. It's already o over two and a half minutes long, the way it is right now. Uh, and yeah, I'll I'll let you guys know. It would be nice if I if I finished it by next week, and then it can be like a belated, belated birthday, uh, birthday BTS. But yeah, it, it it already it looks really cool. I'm I'm happy with with how it's looking right now. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Um, so yeah, I remember showing. Yeah, showing clips of the BTS one year ago, something about some tree climbing. Oh my god, there's so much we did. So, so much. It's crazy. All the, I mean, just going through the footage and collect and selecting the, the clips that I want to use is so much time. Let alone figuring out how to structure it and what, what clips to to put together and all that so <laughs> it's gonna take me quite a while longer at least a few more hours to finish the bts but yeah i will do it i'm determined now i have a new wave of determination to finish it <clears throat> too cute my youngest who is sitting with me calls his brothers and says look how beautiful the lady is <sighs> not anymore <laughs> I just went from beautiful to and giving your child nightmares tonight. <laughs> Thank you, young man. <laughs> Looking handsome yourself. <laughs> what does one say when called beautiful by a little child? Thank you. Um... I spent some time with my godson again yesterday. That little fella is grow is going to grow up to be <laughs> I think quite funny. He 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 already seems to have a a, a sense of humor, which is nice. Uh, Cuz we definitely jo joke around with him a lot. So he he's understanding more and more situational fun and play. 
Uh, so I'm train training him already to be a little troll. He's gonna be a troll, but like the good kind of troll. Amare, hello, welcome. Looking forward to seeing it. I, I want, a, a part of me wanted to show you guys uh, a bit of it, a little sneak peek, but but I'm not going to. I realized I'm not going to. I don't want to spoil it. And, um, I'm birthday I die. What a mess, please. I knew many, many about it, but always great to hear new details. <laughs> yeah, I guess I always add details, don't I? Uh, there's got to be a remix of one of those sound bites. That's the next step. Add some beats. I'm, I'm sure people have done that. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, let's let's watch Iodine. Then I'm gonna play Iodine for you guys, and then after that, I have a little over an hour, about one hour of music. So let's get in right to it. Um, we don't have too much time, but it's okay. If, uh, it, it was, it's nice to it's nice to catch up with you guys and have a little have a little conversation, a little animal story time. Okay. Okay. Let's watch iodine. Wait, where am I typing? Was that story a couple of weeks ago with the iodine clips? Huh? And it a teaser or just a coincidence? Huh? Was that story a couple of weeks ago with the iodine clips in it? Oh, um, no, I actually wasn't. Pl no, so he, so I I was planning to. Huh? I put out a story with iodine clips? No, that was, a, I don't know what you're talking about. So probably a coincidence. I, I was planning to, to do the BTS, I had it written in my calendar weeks ago, but obviously, you know, things happened and I didn't, I, 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 I didn't allocate my time well enough and and I got it got closer and closer and then when I talked about it last stream I was like oh shit what a what an unfortunate thing to just you know let it uh let it pass and you know then maybe I wait another year because I don't randomly want to put out a video like that during the year you know it's nicer to to have it be part of part of a a thing like an anniversary or whatever so I was like mm, maybe maybe it will still maybe it will still be fine a week late and I'll be like <clears throat> happy belated birthday anyway uh without further ado here is iodine um and then after we watch it I'll play it for you Same 
Oh, I think that's the first time I see myself in all of the recommendation videos. <laughs> and wait, wait, Michael's video, Michael's video. Uh, wait, oh, that's it? No, Michael's video. <laughs> Pet Doofy, mine, 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 mine. Pet Doofy, mine, mine. <laughs> was that watermelon and a bread knife i don't know about bread knife it's just a just a a, a, a knife um yeah honestly yeah just random 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 things that came to mind <laughs> the most random images Most of which makes zero sense. That was part of the point. Just like, what's the craziest thing that we can think of in a random location? <laughs> yeah, definitely made the pandemic more bearable working on this project. So yeah, iodine is one years old and I'm gonna do kind of just the, uh, the, uh, the guitar version stripped. Um, but if you're curious to hear the song in its many different forms and vibes, uh, there's actually a few remixes that were created um, by some friends. Um, so all of the versions are on Spotify if, uh, yeah, if you're curious. Our community member who was here earlier, Ben, also, Skittlebeam, also created a 
really, really wonderful, uh, really wonderful remix, as well as my co-producer, Gabboy. So yeah, those are, those are all on, on, there's an EP, there's an iodine EP with all of it. There's like the radio version, the, the long edit and all that, so yeah. I guess I shall rename my YouTube channel to your name. <laughs> Please don't. <'cause... laughs> They'll think it's me. Um, surely you have more videos that are not me. <laughs> but you definitely have quite a few, don't you? Some uh, sh uh, live show footage and all that. desires creeping and crawling inside my head these little desires got my feeling dizzy dizzy yeah, yeah. you say what you desire is on the other side of your greatest fear I can show you where the real fun is so come out and play with me breathing so darkest side have you the patience like a tame a wild or Satisfied Come on, two, three, go 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the claps. Uh, all right. I'm going to open up the queue now mm, for five songs, five free songs. So uh, get requesting if you would like to partake in, I don't know what, what songs I play. Uh, I've opened the queue now for, yeah, five requests. Guitar version is a hundred times better for you. Um, yeah, a lot of people prefer, prefer acoustic versions, which is also nice. Thank you. You're a guitarist. Yeah. Oi. I have no watcher. No, thank you. That's, that's, uh, excellent, excellent feedback. I, I do appreciate, um, any feedback. You know, you're, you're allowed to have favorites. You're allowed to prefer certain versions from others. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Uh, what, what guitar do you play? I'm gonna be right back. Uh, can I get some water? And be right back. I'm gonna pee. Be right back. Oh yeah, two more requests to go, guys. Lip oil and two fenders. Breeze box, bruises, dancing in the moonlight, won't unwrap them. Start off with Alt J. We were meant to be Alt J. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh. I'll take over from here.
maintain the urge to run away but hold it down with sorry clothes and breeze blows citrusy and your fever's quivering again never kisses or you ever sent on four stars do you know where the wild things go they go along and take your honey break down our wings Breakfast now, let's see my love and love, love and love, la la la. My soul to my soul and toe to toe. The fear is grimly, but here I go. My heart skips as I jump up. Your hand comes and as my eyes say, oh, oh, oh.
front row, baby. Thank you so much, Odie. Thanks for the claps, guys. Please don't go. I'll eat you whole. Please don't go. Bum 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 bum. Um, I haven't listened to the new album in like over a week now. Disgrace. Disgrace. I'm going to listen to it tonight. That's what I will do. Or maybe after stream. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Martin's request. And it's called Bruises. It's your opinion on instrumental music. Do you like listening, creating music around it? Uh, wait, I'm not sure I understand your question. Mm, I mean, there's some really nice instrumental music uh, in all genres, in all genres. So of course, I, I'm not sure I understand uh, creating music around it. Is a question whether I create any instrumental uh, music? If that is the question, then not really. Uh, not really. Um, yeah, the one on the one the last song on my uh, album is an instrumental. But there, um, I init. Well, yeah, I in from the beginning I knew that I didn't want to have lyrics on that song because I wanted it to accentuate the the, the instruments including uh, viola and the cello so I just did some very light harmonies but usually for the most part I'm very very vocal 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 centric so it's it's very rare like that instance, for example, where it was conceptual to have it be uh, an instrumental. So yeah, it's not, it, it's not uh, something that I never do, but it's rare. It's rare. There must be 
must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only I could hold it You keep my head from going You keep my head from going under hey, 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 hey. Bruises. <laughs> uh, you're most welcome. Most welcome. Very happy to play. All right. Who took my cape? Oh, never mind. It's on my guitar. Who took it? Classic blaming chat. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Nirvan did a scoot scoot bump. <laughs> so let's bump down the capo. Next up, we have. most it's always in the most uh, self-explanatory like places right in front of me mo more often than not Thank you. 
tend to get so insecure It doesn't matter anymore It's not always rainbows and butterflies It's compromise and moves and slow yeah. My heart is full and my door is always open You come anytime you want Dab on my window and knock on my door I wanna make you feel beautiful Thank you. This is cinematic. Thank you. Dancing 
This is cinematic. Beautiful. Oh my god. Michael! Congrats, Mimi. Free is now the mostly listened song in my long Spotify history. I bought all your CDs, of course, but frequent listening to your tunes makes me I feel I still owe you something. Love, <laughs> Michael. You don't owe me anything. This is this is your official statement from me. You owe me nothing. <laughs> Maybe a few more chats. <clears throat> of course it is always nice to see you, but that's always uh that's always just a bonus. Thank you so so much. So very sweet. Thank you for the donation. Um and for your eternal support of free. <laughs> um, you've definitely made that song feel very, very special. Thanks everybody for the claps. Uh, yeah, you just listened to Dancing in the Moonlight. Uh, and up next, I'm gonna loop a song called Won't. One of my favorite songs to loop and it is one that I have already recorded um, for my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already checked it out and I don't know, this uh, what I'm about to play, you're like, oh, I wish I could have that somewhere. It is already up on YouTube uh, and we recorded it in the studio. So yeah, that was one of the first ones we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, push isn't plugged in. Oh, gotta be careful. So many things plugged in. What? Till what time did you have again today? Uh, and for, for another um, half an hour. Whoa. I have to finish at 4.30. Cause I'm being picked up at five and I need to, well, I can be a little bit late, but I have to pr mm, pack up my stuff. Cause I need, uh, oh yes. I need to transport a large part of my equipment into the studio today. So yeah. <clears throat> Let's do what? And then picture I see you. I see you. Um, oh, by the way, Michael, if you want to hear free and I already have the push out, I can do the loop for you if you want to add that for your for your song request just let me know or d d type it in what am i doing teneriel okay New song coming. I'm recording some uh, 
some live loops for my YouTube channel. Oh, that recorded it all funny. I have to redo it. Let's do it. Started at the wrong time.
That was Won't by Teneria. Thanks for requesting that, R2. It felt so nice to play. It felt really, really nice. And we got one more. Eh, eh, eh. Free. Eh, it can stay here. Free from this jail. Free from this jail. 
Thank you. That was free. Request by Michael. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Two songs to go. I'm closing the queue because we are nearing the end of stream. So yeah, uh, if you have a request, um, let's keep it for next time. I've got two to go. Always get, uh, get us dancing. I, I love it when you guys chant. I love it when you chant. It's so nice. It gives it, it gives me this this feeling that we're in like a parade together. It's very funny. That's what I feel like. We are in a parade and we're singing along together. We've got a little choir going on every time you chant. We were all so sad, weren't we? That the chants were leaving and we won't get to chant and and then you guys proved that you don't need you don't need it you can just uh, manually do <laughs> This next one is requested by Veld. It's my song called Picture. i 
Thank you, thank you. For the clips and the claps. And the clippity claps. Percent. I'm, I'm starting to have a feeling that maybe it's not even Aeon that's resubbing. I think it's the bot like trolling, trolling him. Or maybe there's a cat or a dog nearby doing the resubbing and just randomly hitting the keyboard, different part of the keyboard every month. Or maybe it's an automated thing and, and, and it's Apple servant sending like some sort of code out to you guys. It's one or the other. That's what so I'm saying. Music. Ryan gets it. It's a... Uh... Oh, thank you so much, ba Battery Dudor. Thank you. Thank you so much for the two month three sub. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm telling you. It's code. Code. Why was my that master volume on four? Oh my god. That's why I felt like super, super loud. Maybe we should recollect what collect all recent messages from the last year. Maybe it has a secret message. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> Quite possible. What does the person get? The person who gets it? Is there a prize? Shit don't feel right 
pretty creepy. Sub? It's a gifted subs. Aw. Thank you. Thank you. To Reckless, to Tame, to OG Glock, Coma, and Ccom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it is time, dear chat, for me to go. What? I waited till it was less than five. What? I don't get it. Doi. Oh. <laughs> Cause you know, I'll stick around. That was smart. I definitely would have been late because I would have gotten off, off track. <laughs> Oops, I gotta do the sub train now. No, I do have to get going. I have to pack my stuff. Um, but thank you so much for being here today. I'll see you guys on Friday. When the night has come.
On Monday? <laughs> yeah, on Monday. <laughs> I guess. I don't think I have anything going on. Yet? 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 No, I won't see you on Sunday. No. Um, what's going on? On Thursday? Wait, on Monday? Yeah! I don't have anything going on. Uh, yeah, no, I don't, my, <laughs> I'm taking a week off. I will be taking some time off, let me tell you. Um, next week, we're not gonna have a Friday stream. Um, or a Monday stream the week after that. Um, cause I'm gonna be <laughs> going to Amsterdam. Uh, for, a f four days. I'm gonna be going to Amsterdam, not for Twitch, uh, not because I, not because I, not because I got confused about TwitchCon dates, but because um, I'm gonna go and be a tourist with a friend of mine uh, who is, who also is going to Amsterdam. So yeah, it's a little bit of a, uh, eh, a little chillax time, um, which I'm actually, which at first made no sense because I was like, why do I need to go twice? It seems like a waste, but, but then, mm, but then I thought, uh, seeing, uh, seeing how 2019 Berlin went, I saw nothing of Berlin, you know, I was so excited to go see a new country and I saw nothing of the, of the city because, you know, we were at the con the whole entire time. We walked around for like a little bit to get food, but I didn't see anything of Berlin. Not not the places that I wanted to go because we were, yeah, just hanging out with Twitch people. So it, I think it's gonna be kind of nice to to have some time, have a few days to explore and, and then go back for TwitchCon. So I might actually, I might stream from there, but maybe I won't, I don't know, I'll, I'll this is for next week. This is a talk for next week. So yeah, I'll be streaming, yeah, like Monday, Wednesday, and then maybe we'll do a another day. Maybe it'll just be two streams. I will let you guys know. Uh, stay tuned on Discord. I will put out the schedule. And yeah, other than that, have a, have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you on Monday. Let's go rate. <laughs> You're going to Budapest twice as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope we get to meet for a coffee while while I'm there. We must. It's time to go home. We must. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. It's time to say goodbye. Okay, Val. Yeah, fun. yeah. We will. We, all had we will so much gather, fun. gather all and our ideas. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. goodbye, everybody. We're gonna go raid Camila. Who's doing a See '90s themed stream? Again. That sounds fun. Go goodbye. have some fun. Be nice. Say hi. See you again. And thank you for all your support today. It was, it was nice to it was nice to have a chat play some songs it was it was the chill stream that i needed so thank you for that it's time to go home <laughs> adams it's time I to and go bye. home it's time to go home it's time impeccable to timing say goodbye. it's your <laughs> It's your specialty. Fun. We love it. And we love it. Have a great weekend. So much fun. <laughs> Goodbye, Asamiya. Bye, Neil Chani. So Bye, Elbri. <laughs> Thank you and so much, Val. We say goodbye. Goodbye. My near man, OG. Chris, complicated. Have a good weekend. Kuka, it's Lost Page. Hitsy Litsy, Kadis, Artul. Jack Matsy. Bye, Sebi. 
Oh, we're getting ready. Get those raid calls ready. Copy it's paste. It's time to go home. Show Camila some love. Bye. It's time to go home.